Welcome back. Uh, please welcome Doug Harris. He's the producer and director of Fair Legislation, the Byron Rumford story, a documentary uh, that I happened to get a little bit of a glimpse at. Uh, before you tell us a little bit about it, let's go ahead and take a look at the film itself. No matter how much money you had, how intelligent you were, if your skin was brown, opportunity was denied. The unions wouldn't let you in to, to get a union card. Uh, I'm talking about the plumbers, the electricians. Uh, at the time, there were no mayors, uh, uh, no city council members. We didn't have people on school boards, or, or we didn't have people on boards or commissions. There was basically no black representation in Northern California. Uh, at the time, they had all the covenants for uh, the restrictive housing, but no one admitted uh, that it was there or that it was a problem. I don't think Dad really had any personal desires to run for public office, but the community meetings resulted in him being drafted to run for the assembly district and some really inspiring stuff about the first uh, black man to hold public office in northern california as somebody we don't hear about much what it, what inspired you to do a documentary about him well as a, a native of berkeley uh, my mother gloria nelson heavily encouraged me to do a documentary about byron rumford in uh, after several years of contemplation, uh, we finally worked it out to where uh, she's actually the executive producer of the film and she really strongly encouraged me to do this story about this wonderful man. That's great. And he, uh, you know, a lot of people don't necessarily know of him as a civil rights pioneer specifically. He's not somebody who I grew up hearing about in the history books, but clearly, I mean, he really was a pioneer and, and was behind some really powerful, you know, far-reaching legislation. Byron Rumford is recorded as the California Assemblyman that has probably passed the most single amount of significant legislation in the California state history. And so it's an honor for me to be ha have the opportunity to produce this film about it. Absolutely, and we're talking uh, the Fair, Fair Housing Act, is that correct? And also- uh, Fair, Fair Housing Act, Fair Employment Act. Which, and, which prohibited discrimination in employment. E exactly, and just so many other uh, bills that he passed throughout his career. He really was a legendary uh, figure, really, and someone whose whose effects are, are far reaching and continue today. Uh, can you talk about what it was like sort of reaching back in history to, you know, resurrect some of these really amazing legislative accomplishments? Well, Byron Rumford, when he he was a pharmacist in Berkeley and during the time that he was in office, uh, assemblymen and, and state senators, that was a part-time job. Now, uh, quite naturally, it's full-time, but he shared his time between uh, being a Berkeley pharmacist and also being a legislator in Sacramento. And during his era in the legislature, it was very difficult because there were very few blacks in the legislature and some of the bills that he worked to pass in terms of anti-discrimination in California, they were so significant because of the backlash that he had to face in working to pass these different bills. Absolutely. Uh, you, you talked about this kind of being a family affair. You have your, your mother, you said, who was executive producing this. You said your son uh, helped you out with the cinematography there. Mm -hmm. and, and you actually teach filmmaking as well. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, in 1999, I developed a project uh, with Contra Costa County, and it was called the Digital Technology Academy, and it offered us a chance to train young people, teenagers from, from Richmond, uh, how to do digital storytelling and digital filmmaking. And this all took place uh, during the digital divide, when inner city kids weren't afforded an opportunity to work on, on filmmaking using digital equipment, digital cameras and non-linear editing, stuff that we take for granted today. But back in the late 90s, all of this stuff was new. And so we've been involved with that project and telling a number of community history stories o over the last 15 or so years. And you're still teaching. Oh, absolutely. That's yeah. great. We have a project that we're working on developing now uh, for the group of kids in West Oakland about McClyman's High School. Really? And we're going to uh, assemble a crew and get them trained and brought up to speed and then we're going to have them tell the history of their school, which is McClyman's High School, which has an illustrious and rich history 
not only in sports, but entertainment and politics and everything. Oh, I can't wait to hear about that. And as a storyteller myself, I have to say I'm biased. I think that's one of the most important skills that kids can develop. So what an awesome undertaking. And you know, it's always special when you involve young people in the telling of these stories because it really resonates with them. It encourages them to learn more about their history. Absolutely. Well, I can't wait to see this film. It looks fantastic. So keep an eye out for it. For more information on fair legislation, visit DougHarrisMedia.com. That's DougHarrisMedia.com. We'll be right back with more Black Renaissance.